Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a view such as this one. Uh, so I'm going to go to a 3D view. Uh, you can rotate around the, uh, the view in a way that you, you like it. And when you think the angle of the view is good, you can go ahead and like it using save orientation and like the view. And I'm going to name it uh, isometric view. Uh, and whatever you, you need to hide to get close to this view, you can click on it uh, or this one, hold control, this one, type HH. You can hide this stuff, this one as well, this one, the door, and this push button. Now, whenever you think the rest of it is good, I'm going to show you a trick. This is temporary hidden when you type HH. Uh, it's kind of like if you go here and go with hide element, they are temporarily hidden. If you want to permanently hide them, so it's not going to show up next time you open Revit, you can go with this icon and you can say apply hide isolate to view. So this way your temporary hide turns to be permanently hide. Uh, so uh, if you want to bring them back this time, uh, you need to go with this reveal hidden elements right uh, and then the rest of it you can just go with show crop region zoom out and make sure that you just go with the area that you want uh, the other way is as you know you can just select everything that you want to be hidden right click hide in view element whether you go with hide in view element or hide temporarily and then apply hide or isolate to view, they both give you the same output. So then I can hide crop region and you can put this on your sheet. And if it's too small or too big, because this has been an originally a 3D view, uh, you can scale it and then you can just adjust this view. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.